Welcome, welcome, welcome back, my friends. I am so glad that you are here today. We are going to have fun. So, Nellie, you had asked me a while ago if I would do a video sharing my favorite, top favorite things of everything that I have. And today I'm going to do that video. So in the comments below, let me know if there's a topic that you guys would like me to share, talk about, and chat to get ready with me, or if there's something you'd like to know, like with my makeup, what's your favorite this, 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 can you do it? Leave it below. I may do a video on that too. Let me just tell you, this was really hard. <laughs> this was really, really hard because here's the thing. I'm always trying new makeup and I'm always discovering new things and I have more things coming now. So... This is really, really hard. I tried my best, I did my best um, to really think about it. And uh, yeah, so let's get into it. So this is really, this was not easy. We're gonna start it with foundation. Um, this is really hard, I have a lot of foundation. So if there's one that I've talked about that I love, 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 and I don't share it in here, don't think I don't like it, but I had to make the decision if I can only have three, okay? I'm not gonna keep saying that throughout this video, but this was not easy. So, the three that I picked, and another reason why I want to say this really quick. <laughs> this was really difficult. Let me tell you why. I have oily skin. I live in Florida, so there are there's some skin there's some makeup that I can't wear in the winter. But I guess it's like that for you where you live. But I'm telling you, it's on another level here. Okay, so winter and summer it can be different. There's some things that I may not have talked about in a while that you're gonna see, and there's some things that I have. So there could be some surprises in here. Just know that if I don't mention something I like, that doesn't mean I don't like it anymore. I just had to pick three, number one. Number two, I don't overhype everything. So, I mean, the only thing, there's one thing out of everything that I've overhyped that you're going to hear about, and you probably even know, you're, it probably came to your brain already what it is. I just don't overhype everything on my channel. Okay, we're going to start out with foundation. This is the Anastasia Luminous I love this foundation. I love this foundation. This is my, there we go. I love this foundation. This is actually my second one, which is amazing when you're on YouTube, okay? Uh, I haven't used this in a while. I had this sitting up and I'm, it looks like it's full, but it's about right down to there right now. So not halfway, but I'm using it up. But not so much in the, in the summertime. I like to keep this for the winter time here, but I love this one. And this one, I say this every time and I have to because I got the lightest color they have accidentally. So I have to warm it up when I when I wear this. But this is from Sicily and this is their Photo Tint Ultra Eclad and I definitely will repurchase. This has been a, by the way, this has been a repurchase. This has been a repurchase. I've, this is my second bottle, which again is amazing when you're here on YouTube. And it looks like there's two different colors because I did shake it. You do have to shake it really well. It is... Um, does have fragrance in it by the way this has no fragrance no alcohol this has um, fragrance in it and I don't believe there's alcohol in this one but I, I love it if, if I need my foundation to stay on all day I'm going to be out in the heat and humidity this is one of them that I grab this one is my holy grail the only negative thing is it has alcohol in it alcohol to nap um, so that's the only thing and it's up there high so that's I don't wear this all the time but if I what my makeup my foundation to look glowy and gorgeous this is it and it's the Giorgio Armani luminous silk perfect glow oh my gosh I love this foundation it is so beautiful I love it I probably will repurchase it even though it has alcohol in it because I don't use it all the time but I love it concealers are what we're going to talk about next this is going to surprise you because there's one in here I don't talk about all the time but I really love it I bought like the trial size of this and I definitely would order I probably will order a, a larger size of it this is from NARS it doesn't really say it just says NARS on it it's all it says is NARS and this is in the shade light to vanilla I bought this because when I was doing my um Sarah Jessica Parker makeup her makeup artist had this on her table so I'm like uh, I don't know if I'm gonna like it but I'm gonna try it and I love it I was shocked at how much I love it. I'm surprised that more people don't talk about it. This is a really, really good one. It conceals and it doesn't crease. Now it doesn't have that, it has a little bit of a tiny bit of a peachy undertone to it, but it's really, it's a nice one, you guys. It's really, really a good one. This 
is another one that I really, really love. Now, there was one that at, at one time I really liked. I'm just going to share it with you here. And it was um, the Lancome FS ones. I used to love that. Um, but I was getting inconsistent ones. I would get one that was good, and then I would get one that wasn't. Like, I'd have to return it because it was, like, half watery. So I don't like to put that as my favorites anymore because I don't think it's consistent. But this one is from Kosa's, and I love it. I love this one. And this one is in the shade... Um, this is in 03W is the shade. I love it. It's fabulous. My Sicily, where are we at? My Sicily, look at, look at what it looks like. I bought this two years ago. I'm filming this August 25th and I still have plenty left. I told you guys, this stuff is amazing. And I use this, I pretty much use this one daily. So I use these other ones here and there, but for the most part, I'm wearing it again today. That's what I wear. I love it. And it lasts long as time. I told you guys. Let's talk about primers for foundation. This is another one that can be a little bit, this is hard. This one is from MAC and this is the mattifying. This is fabulous. I love this one. And uh, there's one in here that I'm going to mention that I didn't mention in a video. I was talking about it and there's one I forgot to mention, but this is fabulous. I got a sample of this. And I ended up purchasing it because I like it so much. This one is so beautiful, but it's so ridiculous. But if you want your foundation to look amazing, this stuff is fabulous. And this is the Double Tancer uh, Instant. It says Instant uh, and Long Term whatever. Okay, because it's actually skincare. And I'm not going to pump any out because this stuff's expensive. I'm sorry, I can't show you a sample. I will show you what it looks like to pump. And this is actually bigger than I thought it would be. I thought it would be smaller. It's a good size. I mean, look at my foundation. It's almost as tall as my foundation bottle. So you get an idea. I'm not saying they're the same amount inside. I'm just saying, you know what I mean? I thought, I thought it was going to be a teeny tiny little thing and it's a decent size. But it's really expensive. I don't know if I'll ever get the skin, but I'm going to enjoy it. So this is from Tatcha. This is her liquid silk canvas oil free i love this but i hate this are they all like this or did i just get a shitty one like it seems i'll get it i'm like oh it's on and then i'll go to open it up it's like what the fuck the packaging on this is stupid if i get another one it better not be like this because this is stupid this is ridiculous but the product itself i freaking love it i love it because it helps to control my oil and if i want my skin to look Listen, I like this look. See how nice and glowy my skin looks? That's what I like. I like glowy. But when I go out in the heat and humidity here, honey, I gotta have something that's gonna control all that shit. You know what I'm saying? And this is it. So, love it. Let's talk about bronzers. This one, oh my god, I love this. I keep telling myself I'm not gonna reorder it, but I'm using it every damn day. I'm not wearing it today. I filmed a video wearing it, so I'm wearing something else. But this is so beautiful, but it's really expensive okay but you know I'm a bougie bitch so it's from Sicily of course I've fallen in love with Sicily god help me um and this is the bronzer it is so gorgeous it's gorgeous because it's like glowy and it's very subtle so if you like your skin to look glowy like it's the most natural looking bronzer I've ever used in a powder form now if you have dry skin I don't know I feel like because it's illuminating and it would be pretty but if you have really dry skin I think you're better off using creams okay and I have one that I'm going to recommend okay <laughs> but this is just oh my god I love it I hate doing this because I don't want to waste but it doesn't look like much but I love this. I wear this all the time. I almost have to stop myself because I don't want to go through it. But it's so beautiful because it's so gorgeous on the skin. It's subtle. It's just, I love it. I, now, I'm going to show you two. The next one I'm going to show two because one of these is discontinued, but I just found a dupe for it. And I really, really love it. It's actually one that I'm wearing today. Okay. And this is the one that I discovered this year. I used to love the Chanel. I'm just going to mention, I, used to use, I still have to use this up, but I don't like the new formula, so I don't really want to talk about it, okay? But that one I still love. I've used that for years. So the Tom Ford Shade Illuminate, this one just got discontinued. I did not see it on the site. I don't see it anywhere anymore, so I'm assuming it's discontinued, okay? 
the one that I'm wearing today, and I really, really like it, is this one from By Mario. It's gorgeous. See how glowy my skin is? It's because of this. It's beautiful. It's the same as that. If you have dry skin, you're going to love it. This is in the shade Light. It's not... It's not considered a bronzer, but I feel like it is a bronzer. So that's why I'm calling it a bronzer. He does not consider this a bronzer, but I feel like it does because it, that's what... I feel like it's this light here. Let me swatch the two so you can kind of see, even though they're different. Because this is like a considered a gel to powder, this one. And the, the Mario one is a uh, cream. So this is the Mario. And this one is the... See how similar they are in color? They're very similar. This one's a little bit more, looks more orangey, but doesn't look orange on me. So, I don't know. I'm going to consider this, even though it's not a bronzer, I'm throwing it in there with bronzer. And I also feel like it's similar to the shade Illuminate, which is not a bronzer, but I was using this as bronzer. That's how I use it. I use it as a bronzer. It's actually supposed to be for like contouring stuff, but you know, I don't do that. Um, so I'm going to consider this bronzer, and I really like that. And the other one is this one, and I'm going to throw this in with my highlighters too because it's the one from Charlotte Tilbury. They don't have this package anymore. And it's her Hollywood, her Flawless Bronzer Glow, her Film Star Bronze and Glow. I love it. It's very subtle, but it's gorgeous. I will do an eye look with this. I will take um, this, this even, and I will blend out my eyeshadow with it like... It's like a multi-purpose and I just love it. I love it, I love it, I love it. Setting sprays, I, I just started doing the setting spray stuff probably this summer. I've been experimenting with different ones and um, there's, I'm gonna show you all of them. Okay, one of them I, I, I repurchased, I like it, but I don't know if I'm gonna repurchase it now, but I think I wanna share it with you anyways because I do like it, but there's some things I don't like about it, so let's just do it. So this this one from Charlotte Tilbury, okay? I got a sample of this. I started using it, and it does keep my makeup on pretty good. I hate the smell of it. But I do, I do like this. So, I mean, the fact that I, because I had a mini size and I bought a large one. So I do like it. But then I discovered this. <laughs> and it's the MAC Fix Plus Stay All Over. This is fabulous. I don't know what magic is in here, okay? But this one is alcohol free. And then what I've been doing is I use, I use this pretty much, I didn't use it today, but normally I use this every single day. I didn't do it today because of, I was doing a different video, whatever. So just shut up. So anyways, so I, I use this Fix Plus and then I use the Fix Plus Stay All Over on top. So I will do this first, let it completely dry, and then I will do this on top of it and my makeup will stay on. I don't know. I don't know if it works without this, but that's the way I do it. So what I like about this is I feel like it melts all my powder products down. So my makeup never looks cakey or powdery because there are some days that I wear a lot of powder if I'm going to be out the heat and humidity. And this will help it so it doesn't look gross. It just kind of like melts everything. I love it. So that, that's it on that one. Let's finish up with highlighters. So I like the Charlotte Tilbury highlighter. Another one that I love that I don't hear a lot about, I don't understand why, is Laura Mercier. I purchased this one myself. This is gorgeous. It's just called the Highlighter One. It is so gorgeous. Just it's just gorgeous. That says it's all over. I wouldn't have put this all over. Unless you want to look like the Tin Man. I'm saying you're gonna be like real glowy. You don't want to be that glowy. No, this is really really pretty though. I oh I love it. I didn't know what to pick. There's so many since I had to pick three. I grabbed this one, but I could have grabbed some other ones too. I don't know. I could have grabbed another Laura Mercier one because I'm going to be honest with you, I've been liking the Laura Mercier ones more lately and I, I tend to pull, pull more um, powdery products in the summertime. So I pulled this one. It's not available anymore, but I do really love it. And it's this one from Givenchy. It's the Prism Libre highlighter that they had out last holiday season. It's just so beautiful. It just... Um, oh my God. I'm just going to take a little swipe. Look at so it looks like, and look what it looks like on my finger. 
I mean, holy, yeah. You don't need much of this. It's just stunning. I have a lot of blushes now. I don't know if I could pick three out of everything that I love as much as I love these two. Let's put it that way. I don't know that there's three that I could say that I purchased. Um, I'm going to say one that I that I did not pay for, and that would be my Laura Mercier. I want to stick with stuff that I paid for, okay, in this video. Um, the Laura Mercier blushes are gorgeous. They're gorgeous. I'm surprised that nobody talks about them. They're gorgeous, but I didn't want to put them in this video because I didn't pay for them, okay? These are things that I paid for. Daniel Sandler. I love these. I love these blushes. They're gorgeous. You can't go wrong. People always ask me, oh, colors. It, it doesn't matter. Pick one. You'll love it. Seriously. They, they last a long time. These are still my original ones. Okay. <laughs> these are still my original ones because I only wear it in the wintertime. And you only need a little amount. You shake it up really good. If, as it gets a little bit older, it does get a little bit more watery, but it still works. Got to shake it up really good. Put a little bit on the. I put it on the back of my hand. Take a brush and just kind of put it in there, and then I dot dot it up. You know, dab it off a little bit. I've shared videos on how to use it. Put it on. It's gorgeous. On my skin, I have oily skin. It's gorgeous. On dry skin, amazing, amazing, gorgeous. Love his blushes. You're not gonna be surprised about this. <laughs> this is from Sicily. This is actually the one that I'm wearing today. And this is the La Orche, La, I can't even pronounce it. I'm gonna put it below, but it's the blush. This one is in, oh, there's two of them. There's peach and I have to look and see. I believe this is the one in coral. I believe this is coral and then there's peach. You guys, it's gorgeous. It's gorgeous. And don't look at, don't judge my nails either. I know my nails look like crap, but I'm in the pool all the time now. So I'm just, don't judge me, okay? But I'm wearing this today and I, so beautiful you guys it's I love it okay so that's it for blushes because th those are it like those are my favorite I used to like Chanel blushes but after like testing out so many they're not they're not my favorite there's one and I didn't bring it in here and it's not even around anymore but it was like one side was sort of, sort of a highlighter and then the other side was a blush that Chanel I really liked and I got that a couple of years ago um, and I'm kind of tired of all these companies too, where they, oh, it's limited edition. There's like a new eyeshadow that came out and it's already gone. So it's like, I don't know. I'm getting tired of Chanel. I used to be big on Chanel makeup, but I'm kind of like, I'm, I'm getting over it. Sorry. Eyeshadows. Uh, there's a couple different ones and this is going to be more than four. This is hard. Okay. I'm going to, I'm throwing these in here because I purchased them. I did not purchase I know I didn't purchase this these are from Laura Mercier this are caviar sticks but I did purchase I have some in my bat like I have a whole bunch of them and I purchased several myself okay and I don't know if these are some that I did or except for that so I know that I didn't okay so you guys I just keep it real but anyways I love our caviar sticks love them easy to use blendable they don't crease on me I love them Something else that I love, I don't like a lot from Tom Ford, but I freaking love these. And these are those eyeshadows that are like a, one side has this little glitter on top here, this little shimmery. Okay, it's a shimmer, not glitter. And then the other side is like a cream. Oops, I can keep that. I like to keep these little plastic things so it doesn't dry out. This is one of my favorite. I can do a quick eye look with this and it looks gorgeous like if I'm gonna gonna go out shopping or something I can just pop this this is like a nice thing to travel with it blends excuse me it blends like a dream it's pigmented love it this one's called naked bronze the one I just showed you and this one is called golden peach now this one I don't like as much on me so I have to add another color but it is pretty I just love the concept I hope that they come out with more colors that are like easy I just like this quick easy I love the quick easy look of it. I'm not gonna tell you it's worth the money, but I use it. I use it and I love it. I love the convenience of it. I mean, it, I could take just this on a trip with me and have an eye look and not have to worry about it. You know what I mean? I could do it really quick, look all pulled together, lasts on me all day. 
love these. And the other thing I'm going to tell you is my Anastasia palettes. I love these as well. I love my Anastasia palettes. I haven't bought any in a while, but I still love these. Look at, still have them, still loved. And of course, I have to, I have to say something. <laughs> I, you guys know that I love Charlotte Tilbury. I have many of those. Actually, we're in Charlotte Tilbury today. I'm wearing some colors out of the um, Pillow Talk palette. Today, that's what I'm wearing. A little orangey, but that's okay. So, yes, I love those. I know I did more than three, but we're going to be okay with it. Okay, kind of makes up for the, I only did two blushes. So we're going to give that to me. Um, so I'm going to just show you two because that's all I have. <laughs> I have the Anti-Gravity from Milani, which I love. And then I have this one, which I love, the Bad Gal Bang. I love this one. The only thing is I could transfer with it. That's the only thing, but I love it. I love it. It's fabulous. And I'll probably try some more mascaras today. I'm wearing the Milani, and I really love it. I think it's fabulous. Okay, so as far as eyeliners, there's not a lot that I wear. I pretty much, I feel like I wear the same ones over and over. Unless I do a specific color, there are some other ones that I use. So the one that I use... I'm wearing it today. I wear it pretty much every day. It is my Charlotte Tilbury Barbarella Brown. I love it. And it's pretty good as far as no transfer. So I pretty, I usually don't get much transfer. Sometimes I get a little bit right after I do my eyes. You know, I'll get a little bit. But usually I don't get transfer with this one. I also like her, this one. This is like the double-ended one, and I don't know what it's called. But one end is like a highlighter. So you can put it, you can put it like on your inner corner down there, or not your inner corner, your lower la water line. And you can also put it right here in your inner corner, which I love. And then the black matte is just, look at, I love it. I mean, I use that one a lot and I can't read what the name of it is, but you'll see it when you, it doesn't really say on here. It doesn't say what it is. That's that's one of them that I love. And then I like the Chanel ones. The Chanel ones are nice because I like the fact that it's got the little sharpener at the end. I know it sounds silly, but I like that. And they stay on me pretty good too. And I also will use these on my, my right above my lash line. And I'll do like a I've been do I've been playing with a cat eye. You're gonna see it in a video, okay? I did a whole tutorial on it. But I like these because you can get them nice and pointy to do like a little bit of a wing there or you can just apply it on above your lash line and smudge it out i really like the chanel liners those are really really nice i have several of those when it comes to lip liners i have a lot but there's two that i use all the time unless i'm doing you know sometimes i'll reach for another one i have some from mac i have some from estee lauder that are nice but these, are, and one from, I think I have one or two from Laura Mercier that I like too, but these are the ones that I use the most. This one's from Pat McGrath. This is Starstruck. I wear this one a lot. I feel like this is a chameleon, this color, because I feel like it goes with so many different looks. You know, it. this is the color of it, but I feel like, I don't know, it's weird. I can wear it with a lot of different looks. And then I have the pillow tuck. This might be the medium. I think this is the medium one, but I do have the 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 um the original pillow talk too. And it's another one that I wear a lot. I'm wearing it again today. I'm wearing this this the one in medium today on my lips. I love it. I love those lip liners. Those are the ones I reach for the most. Glosses are not gonna surprise you. Pat McGrath, I love her glosses. I have several of them. I'm not gonna go through every one because it's a long enough video as it is. And I love the Tom Ford. The packaging is gorgeous on it, and the gloss itself is fabulous. I love it. Lipsticks, my favorite. I have a lot, but my favorite formula is still Charlotte Tilbury. I feel like they're creamy. They last. They're long-lasting. I have to apply them, but they're long-lasting. They don't... Even the matte formula doesn't feel drying. It's just... I love her lipsticks. I love them. I want to include a couple more. I know I'm supposed to only do three, but we're just going to be okay with it. The Chanel Duo, I love the Chanel Duo lips. I love it because they're long wearing. You do have to reapply eventually, but they're long wearing and they're fabulous and I love them. I've just discovered Pat McGrath lipsticks. I think I'm gonna leave that for another video. I've already shared one. 
I'm gonna leave it for another video because you're gonna see it. You're gonna see it in another video. But this is a new one too that I recently discovered. This is from Giorgio Armani, and this is Lip Power. And I think it's let's see what number this is. This is number 104. Selfless. I love it. It's a beautiful kind of a mauvey pinky um, nude color. I love it. It's gorgeous. Love this. Fabulous. I only have one brow gel that I use right now and it's the Legendary Brow from Charlotte Tilbury. So there's only one of that. And I only use one brow pencil right now and it's the Tom Ford. So I love that. I only use two um, eyeshadow primers right now. One of them is from Trish McAvoy. And the other one is from NARS, and I love them both. They're both fabulous. So these are the three powders, okay? This is from Charlotte Tilbury. You know that I freaking love it. And it is, oh my God, her Airbrush Flawless Filter. I've, I've had this same one for a while now because I basically only use it under my eyes. And I bought it back up months ago, so I already have another one, but I love this powder. There is no dupe. I don't care what anybody says. This is from Estee Lauder. This is the Double Wear Matte Translucent. It's fabulous. I love it. Love it. Discovered it this year. Love it. And this is a new one that I love too. And it's it's from Sisley. <laughs> and it is there. It is their translucent. Actually, it's not translucent. It's loose face powder. And this one is in the shade Iris and it has hibiscus flower extract. All of their makeup has some sort of skincare in it, okay? And this is it right here in the packaging. It's kind of messy, which I don't like. Um, got this mirror, but then it gets kind of messy. But I love it. It's the one that I'm wearing today. I freaking love it. I think that's it. I hope that I got to everything because I'm. this is the second time I'm filming this. Whew, that's a lot. I'm tired. <laughs> so again, those are all my things, Three three of the favorite things that I have of everything. It could change as I try new products. So maybe I'll do another one of these. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this. Let me know if some of my favorites are your favorites as well. Leave it in the comments and I will catch you guys all in my next one. Bye. Hold on a second. I, I wish I could tell you guys the shit that's going on next door, but I can't. <laughs> I can't. There's some stuff that's going on next door. I would love to. It would be. It would be a whole video, but I can't share. <laughs> but there's some shit. Okay.